Hello there, welcome back to the podcast with myself, Joseph Clough. For more information about me, go ahead and visit my website, which has a great deal of information, loads of things you can begin to utilize straight away to make powerful changes in your life, whether it be in your health, your relationships, your career, emotionally, physically, there's loads of great things there that you can really excel in straight away and make powerful changes. So that's josephclough.com. As well as that, go ahead and visit my Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash josephs fan page and twitter.com slash josephclough. Now, on those two pages or those two sites, you'll be able to get complete access to me and my thoughts uh, for competitions, free giveaways, uh, to be updated with these podcasts so you know you get them straight away then. That means you don't have to keep looking on the app store, sorry, the Uh, the podcast section you can automatically go onto facebook go onto twitter and i always update you on all these exciting new podcasts of hypnosis and coaching now today we're going to be doing a bit of both this time we're going to be doing a bit of coaching and then we're going to do some hypnosis now this subject is very close to me because it's allowed me to feel so much better about my life i mean when you think about it we all want peace we all want happiness we all want success we all want to feel content and fulfilled now that is really one of my key subjects i want to be able to teach you how you can get that without having to rely on anyone else or any external situation so you can instantly have it and Last week, I put a comment on my Twitter and Facebook, and it pretty much went like this. I said, anxiety is created by thoughts of what may happen, which is ultimately the future, isn't it? So we're considering what the future may be, and that's what why we can get a bit anxious. We think, well, what's going to happen? How are, they going to peop- how are people going to perceive me? What's going to happen in my work situation or in my relationship? And that can create anxiety. But we could say... That is the future. We're thinking about the future. And I also said, it's judged by experience, which is our past. So you could say that because we've gone through certain experiences in the past, where it be positive or negative, but judging by our past experience, we consider what the future may entail, what it's actually going to, to be like. We've got to have a a judgment point we've got to be able to understand where we've been to be able to know how we're going to be in the future so anxiety is really judged by your past experience which causes you to be able to think of what your future may be like and i said that anxiety disappears when you're living in the now so i'm going to say that one more time Anxiety is created by thoughts of the future, of what may happen. And it's judged by the experience, which is our past. So we're talking about future and past creates anxiety. And we can break this down to many other things like fear or worrying or lack of confidence, not feeling great about ourselves. We can really put it in that category as well about our future and our past. Now, anxiety disappears when you're living in the now living in this moment because when you're living in the moment you're really embracing the for now right here there cannot be any anxiety because you're not thinking about the future you're not thinking about the past you just are there's nothing to even consider and when i wrote that everyone thought it was a really really good um, way of thinking that when you're living in the moment it's going to change how you see the uh, you're not seeing the future or thinking about the future or past you're just being in this moment when you put your attention to this moment that's when you start to live because we don't want to live in the future we don't want to live in the past because that's gone and the future is always going to be the future but if you live in the moment it means you're embracing this moment And that actually cultivates a new future. Because when you think about the future with anxiety or worry or fear, then you're distorting of what may happen. Now the brain, the way it's hooked up is, wherever you're putting your attention, it begins to get more of it. So if in your daily life you are anxious or fearful, 
the more times you experience that anxiety, the more times you experience that fear or any issue, and you're projecting it on the future of what may happen with that anxiety or fear, it means that you're not, your, your brain is looking for more of it. It's like learning a new word. You begin to see it everywhere. If you've decided that you want a certain car, you begin to see that car everywhere you go because your brain is now looking for it because that's where you've put your attention. So if we put our intention in the future all the time, we can get lost. Same thing in the past. If we've gone through some bad relationships and we're putting our attention on those bad relationships of how bad it was, how it wasn't very nice, uh, all the bad qualities of that person, how they may have hurt us, then we're going to be able, uh, by putting our attention and energy onto that, we're actually sending our unconscious mind, our brain, to look for more of it. So it sounds very weird when I say it like that, that your brain's actually looking for more hurt or sadness. But if that's where your attention is, that's what it's going by. I always go by the analogy of a satellite navigation system. The first thing you do is you put in your destination. So that would be the location that you're heading to. And then the satellite navigation begins to find out the quickest route to how to get to your destination. But if you could think about it in the terms of the brain now, we've got to put our attention on the destination of what we want. But if we're focusing all the things we don't want, our brain is calculating all the, des or all the routes of how to get there. And that's not a healthy way of living in life if we're putting our energy onto things that we don't want. We're having the anxiety, fear, and worry. Now, don't get me wrong. I fully understand why we have anxiety. So if you're feeling anxious or you're having fear or you're having issues in your life, I completely respect you and what you've been through because I've been there as well. I used to be blushing all the time, very self-conscious. That's just who I was as a person back then. But I began to change how my mind worked. I began to focus on the things that I wanted. And then I began to realize I need to put my attention on what's happening in this moment. Because everything is fine in this moment. Because you're not considering the past. I mean, think about it this way as well. If you're continually thinking about the future and you have negative attachments over it, then that could happen. Like anything could happen, or the best thing could happen. But when we put our attention onto the now, the future does not exist. We are just in the moment where everything is peaceful and fun. Because when we put our attention on the moment, the anxiety and fear cannot exist. Now you may be thinking, well that's too hard to be able to get that. How do I train up my brain to get out of this way of thinking of the future and the past? Because society is built that way, and I fully resonate with you there. We are built around a society of having to get better at something, or having to acquire something. We're judged by time. We have work schedules. We have certain times of the day. So I fully appreciate that we do live in a time-based reality. That we are judged by time or we're going by time. So I'm not trying to say that you give up time or you let go of your watch or you just become a monk in a mountain somewhere. I'm not saying that whatsoever because we do live in the real world and I want to teach you how you can have the peace in the now whilst going for your dreams and your goals still. So I'm very much, th I like to think about the future and where I'm heading. I have goals out there, but I also know that this moment right here can be the most pleasurable, most peaceful and happy place to be because we're always in the moment. Our minds can be elsewhere in the past and the future, but in reality, there is only the now. Time is a construct that we've created to be able to manage ourselves or to judge the past and what may happen in the future. But there's only this moment. And I want to teach you how you can live more in the moment. But you may be thinking, why is that important? Well, if you're focused in the past all the time, and usually when we're focused in the past, we're either thinking of all the things which went wrong, of why we are like we are, all the traumas and things, we all go through it. That causes us to feel negative about it. When we feel negative, our body picks up on that, that negative feeling. 
We're physical beings, so what we're thinking, our body feels. And that's not healthy. The other way, when we're wishing we could have something like we did in the past, that creates a negative emotion as well. So our body picks up on that. So it's absolutely brilliant for getting a better health. Because when you're at peace with yourself, you are completely at peace with your body. When you think of disorder or dis-ease, it's a, a lack of ease in the body or there's a lack of order in the body. When you're fully living in this moment, you become connected with the core you. You feel aligned in yourself. You feel whole and content. So that is amazing for your health. But when you think about it into other situations, if you're into sports, it's very negative to keep thinking about How are you going to do something next? Yes, you have to have a strategy. But if you're going to play the best golf shots or you're playing darts or you're playing football, you have to embrace the moment. You've got to be in the moment. You've got to live it so you're fully focused on the now and how your body is working. So it's great for sports. When you're working, you're you're most efficient when you're putting all your attention to what you're doing. When you're not thinking about the future, you're not thinking about the past. Relationships. The most amazing moments you have in your relationship is when you are completely in the moment with that person. I really believe that. The special times you've had with someone is when you felt so connected. You felt... You just embrace the moment. You just were. And that is so powerful when you're in a relationship. So to be more in the moment is absolutely going to benefit your relationships. Now, this also goes for, say, for someone. So, for example, that one could be relationships, friendships, family, and so on. To be in the moment, you feel much better, and everyone gets that as well. Let's just say you're looking for someone in a relationship. So you're single and you want to be in a relationship. If you're worrying about the future and past... That's not good for the mind and body, which we've discussed. But when you're living in the moment, you actually make quick unconscious decisions, which we could say is our intuition. And our intuition is very, very powerful. There's been lots of studies about this. Like in the book, a book's called, I think it's called Blink, and it's got lots of little studies about how our gut instinct is right more often than when we're thinking about things too much. We're considering stuff. So by being in the moment, you're embracing the now, and therefore you're acting out fully being you. That is a far more attractive quality when someone is around you to be with you or wanting to be with you. When you're just being in the moment, you're having fun, you're content, you're happy. That contentment and happiness brings confidence, and that is a very attractive quality. Also, when you're living in the moment and you're wanting a relationship, it becomes easy because you're just being here right in this moment. And that is an amazing experience to go through. And I can pretty much tell when you've, and if you just recall past situations, your most successful things that you've gone through, health, relationships, career, are usually when you lose yourself in the moment. You just are. Now, as I said, we live in a time-based world, and I fully appreciate that. But there are simple things you can do to live in the moment. I want to discuss those. And then, which is going to be a real powerful part, is doing the hypnosis to get you into the moment more consistently. uh, And bringing that living in the now more often, more frequently, to get happy, to have success in all areas of your life. Now, a lot of people find it hard to consider what living in the moment is. That's what I've got from anyway, uh, from people. And I found it very, very hard because I was very much, when I first got into this, I had lots of goals and I really wanted to learn as much as possible. And I was thinking, well, I want to achieve that. I want to do this. So I was very much thinking about the future all the time. And as well as that's okay, I was forgetting about the now, which is where I'm getting my results. What I'm putting into now will change my future. But I was obsessing over the future of what's going to happen and then losing touch in what I was doing right now. So when you're living in the moment, 
you can consider the future. But you're in the flow of now. You're in the moment. And when you're in the moment, that's when you make powerful changes in yourself. Being in a moment is being connected with the part of you which has always been perfect, always peaceful, always healthy. But we lose ourselves by getting attached to time. So we can definitely live in the world, this fast-paced world, based around time, living in the moment, thriving in the moment, embracing this moment. Because in the moment is the most wonderful thing you can experience. When you're in the moment, you feel a sense of peace that you may not have felt before. In the moment, you feel connected in the most safest, most beautiful way with those people around you and your environment. Some people can say it's very much like a transpersonal experience, and that's been my experience as well. When I'm fully in the moment, I feel I am a part of something bigger than me, but I'm connected with my surroundings. And that I know that may sound a little bit woo la la, but it's true. But when you're in the moment, you are connected with your environment. You're connected with the world. You're connected with people around you, and that means you're in the flow of now. So I cannot ex- really say how valuable it is because there's so valuable. Because you've got to have the experience to really understand it, and that's where I'm heading today. I want you to have that experience more consistently, more often, and more powerfully than ever before. One of the comments were, "Well, there's on Facebook, sorry." So one of the comments was, "Well, there's great, but we do live in a, 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 a in this time-based world, and I've got to think about the future." And I agreed. I said, "Well, yeah, I have goals. I have things I'd like to achieve in the future, but there are. An, I think there's an appropriate time to think about the future. So one of my first tasks or tips were, but yes, we have to think about our future. We have to consider certain things, where we're heading, where we'd like to be, and that's fine. I don't see a problem with that. However, if we're thinking about it too often, we lose the pre- this present moment." And we don't experience the real happiness we can all the time. So I suggest it as my tip that when you wake up in the morning, do your planning, whether it be long term, doing vision boards, setting goals of where you're heading, or maybe your goals for that week, or even that day, or even that morning. Get everything clear in your mind where you're heading. Really go and think about what's going to happen in the future. Spend fifteen, twenty minutes, and get it out your system so you know it's done. You thought about it, you planned it, and then put your attention on the moment. That is a great way of teaching yourself to be in the moment. It's not like a big transition. Then it's not like suddenly I've got to let go of everything and be in the moment. It's about doing these small steps sometimes, considering the future, but putting it in the right way. So it's really about maybe spending twenty minutes to really do that, putting twenty minutes aside, consider your future, where you're heading, maybe twenty minutes in the evening, so you're considering what you did that day to get feedback of how you can improve, how you can get better, what went really well, which you can take into the future. So you're still working on the past and the future. So the future. You're considering in the morning of what you're going to do that day, maybe even bigger goals. In the evening, you're doing a positive evaluation of how your day went. But in between there, you become more peaceful. You focus on the moment. You really embrace it, knowing you've got the past and the future out the way. You've learned from your day at the end of a day, which is the past, and then the next morning, you're considering the future for twenty minutes to really get out there and then live in the moment. So another, that's one of my tips. The other tips is to to remind yourself. The way I remind myself is setting up key words to be able to get me back into the now, get me back into the moment. 
for sometimes I've set myself alarms, so every hour or so, a little alarm with maybe that keyword on the alarm. So if you have a phone or something, and then when the alarm goes off, I see the keyword and I bring myself back into the moment. Another hour goes by, I bring myself back into the moment. And you'll notice over a period of a few days, a week, a month, by continually thinking of that key word every hour or every half hour or whatever it may be you keep on bringing yourself back into the now and that teaches your brain to be in the now so every time you say the key word it goes right back into the now so your experience expands upon it now the more so that's a great way of getting your brain to naturally help you out to live into the moment the other thing is for those who are very new to this if you spend five minutes of just sitting in your environment considering what's happening looking for the beauty of where you are right there where it be in the office where it be outside where it be on your journey home taking five minutes to fully take in your experience that is a great way of being in the moment now the more you do that your brain is looking to find more of it so wherever your attention goes is trying to expand that that process of being in the now so over time your your brain your unconscious mind learns how to do it far more frequently it just becomes an automatic process because you set up these alarms or you you do make sure you commit yourself to every hour for this keyword now this keyword could be anything it could be literally being in the moment or it could be love or it could be peace or it could be this is my time it could be anything that you want which will really remind you to being in this moment another way of doing um of really embracing the now is gratitude because when you think about gratitude gratitude is feeling grateful or thanks for what you have in your life But if you really think about it, it's what you have thanks for what you have right now. So if you're thankful for having a body, you're focusing on the now, why your body is so great. If you're thankful for the things that you have in your life right now, although it may have come about by the past, your past actions, but if you focus about them now, you're embracing this moment by being thankful for for now and the things that you have in your life whether it be materialistically so all the materialist well material i'll say it's probably shall i even the material things in your life so the cars the house the books the the clothes the watch the anything material gives you the experience of being thankful for this present moment But it can also be internally as well. So you can be really thankful for the qualities of you. The high, wonderful values you have for life. Your certain qualities about your personality. Things about maybe your humor. Things even about, uh, let's see, the, the talents that you have. All those type of things is a great way of bringing yourself back into the now. The other thing is... You can even be thankful for the people in your life as well. So you're so thankful that people are in your life at this moment. A great way of bringing yourself into the now. So when we just recap the kind of things we can do is, number one, you can really get out the future stuff out of your system, first 20 minutes of a day, plan your day, take time out for planning the future, then live in the moment with these reminders like little alarms or little keywords to just get you in that that way of developing a habit of bringing yourself back into the now bringing yourself back into moment over time it becomes a natural way of being like anything if you do anything over a period of time with consistency it becomes natural so by reminding yourself and then sitting in your experience of being thankful you're really becoming into the moment paying attention to what you are how beautiful you are how amazing you are because i believe you are that's my personal opinion i believe you have everything you need i believe that you are an amazing person and you are infinite in every way and that you are love 
may sound a little bit woo la la, but that's just my philosophy in life. So by putting your attention to your inner qualities, it really helps you, even the external things as I've mentioned as well. We also have just sitting in your experience. So you're just being in the moment and taking in all of your experience. A great way, great way of feeling connected. And when you're feeling connected, you're in the now. And then finally, I said in the evening, you can just get the past stuff out of the way by just evaluating your day. What did you do well? How did you do experience? How can you improve for the next day? So you're still living in time. You're still living in a way of the future and the past, but you're doing it in the most healthy way possible by being in the moment. So there's some great tips there for you to really get into the moment. Now I'd like to go into the hypnosis section to really help you at an unconscious level. So we'll be going straight to that right now. So make sure you're in a nice comfortable position, really in a nice nice environment, maybe just sitting back, relaxing, laying down, wherever you are, just give yourself an opportunity to go into trance and Get your mind and body to live in the moment in the most wonderful way. So let's go for it now. So go ahead and just close your eyes and relax. Give yourself this opportunity to let go and relax. Each moment can allow yourself to develop more comfort as we get in touch with that deeper part of us full of peace, happiness, fully embracing the now just go deeper because as I count down from 10 down to zero each moment with each number you'll go deeper and deeper into trance that's right just relax and let go where soon, even the effort it takes to be aware of how your hands, arms, even your fingers, and how they're positioned may be too much effort to even think about. Easier to just let go down from 10, down to 9, and just relax with ease more and more. Because the more you relax and you pay attention to that relaxation, expanding upon it, as you sleep down from nine, down to eight, you can just be peaceful. As my voice goes with you, a part of you, directing your awareness to living more completely and effortlessly in the moment, to be in the now, all the way down to eight, down to seven, just relax, easily and effortlessly, because going into trance and learning to be in the moment more consistently takes your own time, your own way, 
aware of all the events along the way. So just relax and allow that peace and comfort to grow. More and more, easier and easier, relaxing as you learn and learning as you relax. And just go down from seven, down to six, more and more, easier and easier. Because your unconscious mind, at the back of the mind, can take on all those things I say, but will allow you to feel more peaceful, to live in the moment. In every way, in the most powerful way. Down to five, all the way down to four, and just relax, be comfortable. That's right, all the way down to three and two, allowing that comfort to grow. To experience ease in the body, that gentle awareness of reconnecting to that peace, to that happiness, down to one, all the way through, all the way through zero, because speaking to you your unconscious mind. You, the unconscious mind, can realize the importance and the qualities of living in the moment. Living in the moment allows you and your body to be healthier, to be free of anxiety or worry. To let go of stress. Being in a moment allows you to just relax, to embrace, to be connected, to just be in this moment. You, the unconscious mind, can realize that when you're in inner alignment. When you experience peace and happiness, and you embrace the moment, you are aligned in everything that you do. Your health improves. Your career improves. Your relationships improve. Even your hobbies, everything you do, gets safer and happier. Living in the moment. So relax now, knowing the conscious mind wants this too. From now on, you're going to feel more grateful and thankful for all the things you have in your life. To fully appreciate those external things. As well as those internal things. More often, more frequently, you realize how worthy you are, how many great qualities you have, how you enjoy your own time, just being, just flowing. You, the unconscious mind, will be able to easily and effortlessly 
reconnect to this moment. You may choose a key word. However you do it, every time you remember now, and you remember to be in the now, you, the unconscious mind, will put your attention onto this wonderful moment of being connected with yourself, being connected with peace, happiness, and joy. In mind and body, being aligned with your wonderful thoughts and feelings, you put your attention to more peace every day. You embrace the moment, see yourself in your mind, just being in the moment, enjoying yourself. Being reminded internally to be in the moment. You, the unconscious mind, does this easily and effortlessly to just be here, full of gratitude, full of thanks, full of peace, full of alignment, that true inner alignment. Of being alive in this moment, you feel excited to be here right now. Each and every moment, you fully experience the joy, the safety, the core you, more frequently every day. You just flow. In the moment, you do take time to plan your future, to learn from what you've done in the past. But you set that time aside, so you do it efficiently, and then you just live in the moment. Putting your energy and attention to the things that you're doing, to be so efficient, sometimes just to do nothing, and to just be. You, the unconscious mind, can do this more easily and effortlessly with each moment. You begin to learn how powerful it is just to be. To fully experience your relationships in the moment, your friendships, to truly live in the moment, to embrace for now, with your career, your health, the things that you do, your hobbies. From now on, you feel more peace and happiness. You re-remember how wonderful you are, putting your attention to all the love of you, all the happiness. This moment, you easily and effortlessly. Enjoy the now. You feel great about yourself. To just be. To embrace. To experience. That deep peace within you. Your health. Gets dramatically better. Being in communication with your body whilst being in the moment, your relationships greatly improve. Your career greatly improves. You just get better with each day, feeling better and better, experiencing more peace, joy. 
happiness, living in this moment. More and more, you set your attention to a thing that makes you feel good, and you expand that feeling through your mind and body, even into your environment. That's right. You become connected in the safest. Most joyful, peaceful way with your environment, for you are worthy and you are good enough. You just enjoy the moments more often, more frequently, always remembering, reminding yourself: now is the time. All worries or anxieties or fears disappear. You live in the moment as you release the past by preserving wonderful learnings. All your need to give your energy away to the past will disappear, and you utilize that energy for this moment, this peaceful moment. You just relax and enjoy, right here, right now. You, the unconscious mind, can do this for you, reminding the conscious mind to be in the moment, to just stop and be. To embrace, to live, and to love, just to be here. So grateful, so thankful. Remembering your wonderful qualities, for you are a peaceful person, full of joy and love for this moment. You bring your experience of being in the moment, being completely aligned with where you're heading, just being, flowing, so secure, being the core you. For you are free to be in this moment. You can experience it now, and each day you get better and better in every way. And then, when you're ready to take these learnings, you can become more and more alert, bringing your attention to this moment. Coming out of trance, more and more alert, and as you become more alert now, more aware of your environment, this moment, you can then begin to open your eyes completely out of trance, right now, all the way back. That's right. So I hope you enjoyed that. For more information about me, go ahead and visit my website, josephclough.com. I've got an amazing new program coming out—a monthly program where you get access to over 60 hours of wonderful audio and video to really increase your health, your happiness, and your relationships, your health, and your career. I cannot even begin to explain how powerful this program is. It has so much there, and if you're really interested in excelling your life, it's an absolute must. It's an absolute must to do that, and you can find that at josephclough.com 
on the home page is on one of the little screenshots there and you can just click onto that and you'll be able to find all the things you'll be able to directly have right onto your computer as well as that i will be taking on like phone calls and um, you can ask me questions there's a community on there it's absolutely amazing as well as that, go ahead and visit my Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash Joseph's fan page and twitter.com slash Joseph Clough. So have a most wonderful day. I really hope you enjoyed that and let me know how you get on. I always love to hear from you to see if I can help you further. I'd love to hear your experiences if you've enjoyed it. It's really important for me to know how you're getting on so I can find out how I can help you even more profoundly and bigger and more often than ever before. So have a wonderful day and I look forward to speaking to you very, very soon. Many thanks and goodbye.